by looking at this video, you guys might be wondering like this was created with either Midjourney or Runway, which are all paid AI tools. But what if I told you I created this whole cinematic AI film with completely free AI tools that you can use online for absolutely free. So yeah, today in this video, we're going to dive deep into the world of cinematic AI films with completely free alternatives so that you can go ahead and make yours as well right now. So yeah, without further ado, guys let's jump right into this complete process of creating cinematic ai films all right guys so creating ai cinematic movies is a bit long process but don't worry we're gonna jump into all the steps of creating those cool cinematic amazing looking ai movies so first of all for our first step we need to go ahead and create some visuals right like we need to go ahead and create either by text to video generation or you can go ahead and create some images first and based on those images, you can animate them and create amazing results, right? So according to me, the second one is the best method to go, right? So for creating AI images, the first thing you need to make sure is all of your images should be in a consistent style, meaning like whatever images you're going to make out of any AI image generator, those all have a consistent style, you know, in that way, if you go ahead and animate them, all of them look familiar, right? So for that, obviously, the first tool that would be coming in all of your guys mind would be mid journey right there's no doubt in that right but as i told you guys earlier that would be using completely free alternatives because mid journey is obviously paid you guys so for that we're gonna go ahead and use kriya ai so what's cool about kriya ai is that you get that consistent style feature integrated like built in into this ai tool right so let's just say uh, if you're going to go ahead and start with any prompt, so I input cinematic movie shot of a war. So it's going to provide me with these variations, right? And after that, you need to make sure that you have your first keywords like cinematic movie shot in every other prompt, right? In that way, it's going to go ahead and keep that consistent style for you. So that is a very important point, you guys. And after that, I'm going to go ahead and write simply cinematic movie shot of a war, the same keywords. And after that, soldier firing. So take a look at these results, right? They all look very, very styled referred, right? And similarly, I'm going to go ahead and keep on adding more things according to the animation that I'm looking for. So cinematic movie shot of a war soldier dying. Here are some of the more results and all of them look very, very styled referred, right? Then we have cinematic movie shot of a war again with our keyword. And then I have input tanker. Okay. Then we have these results. Then I have true troops collide. Okay, then we have this result and then a bomb shot. Okay, so yeah, these are pretty good results you guys right over there. Okay, and just with the help of that, I basically went ahead and generated all of my images with that style that I'm looking for. So yeah, all of these results you guys can see are looking very, very matching. We have that consistent style in all of our results right over there. Okay, so yeah, uh, from here, I'm going to go ahead and select some of my favorite outputs. Okay, so after I'm done, so the next thing we need to go ahead and do is we need to animate those images. So for that, the best tool you could ever think of should be Runway, right? But yeah, as you guys know, like this is also paid one and you have to pay at least $15 per month in order to use that. But don't worry, you guys, I'm going to show you guys a very amazing, just as good free alternative, which is Halo AI. So yeah, if you guys are familiar with uh, some of my last videos, so you guys might know, like this is my top most favorite AI tool, you guys right so yeah what's cool about this ai tool is again that if you go ahead and sign up right now you're gonna get three day free trial in which you will get unlimited generations so yeah first of all i'm gonna go ahead and start uh, with the basic like the first image that i created uh with kriya ai so i'm gonna take this image so if i open this one this was just a basic war scene and i'm gonna simply go ahead and type in my prompt like cinematic movie shot war scene so this would be my prom for all of my generations guys that's it you know because nowadays uh the ai tools have gotten so good that you don't need like that kind of complex prompting right you just need to dive in some of the tips and the ai is going to do the job for you very very easily right so that would be my prompt let's just generate this and see the output you guys all right so here we go here is the result you guys wow this looks absolutely perfect right like, take a look at this, how beautifully, like, it has animated the scene. And keeping in mind, like, it was the cinematic shot, we are getting uh, that camera result. Like, you know, the way camera is moving, the fire is in the background. This looks way, way too real and very, very cinematic, you guys, right? 
And after that, I'm going to go ahead and keep on adding all of my images that I created with Korea AI. So let's just say I take uh, this image. So this image uh, was of a soldier who was badly injured. So I'm going to go ahead and just right over here again, cinematic movie shot. Let's just generate this as well. All right. So here is the output, you guys. Wow. This looks really, really good, you guys. I'm literally amazed how beautiful this looks. Looks very, very realistic. And the way it has played with the expression it looks like, uh, you know, the soldier is badly injured and is not happy. He is really, really sad about the war and he is crying, right? So yeah, uh, the emotions in that looks really, really good. And that's going to help a lot in our cinematic AI movie, you guys, right? Then the next, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and take this image uh, just to show you guys like how beautifully the Halo AI is going to do the job for us, uh, you know, for absolutely free, unlike runway. So yeah, this is our image. Let's just go ahead and animate this with our uh, same prom cinematic movie shot okay let's just undo everything else let's generate this and see the output you guys all right so here is the result wow this looks really really good the way you know uh the guy is shooting and the way uh the gun is jerking and we have uh like some background effects some vfx in the background yeah looks really really good looks very very natural and it's giving us some kind of that cinematic vibe that you were looking for. And here are some of the more results. So I typed in from like cinematic movie shot, soldier dying, and basically uh, gave me this result. Okay, yeah, this looks really, really good. The way wind is blowing and we're getting that effect, that bouquet effect looks absolutely fantastic. This is another example. So this is a cinematic movie shot, soldier comforting his injured friend. Okay, yeah, this is kind of, again, very sad scene right over there. And then we have this amazing cinematic shot. Wow, this scene is like in slow motion. And we are getting very amazing bomb shots, cinematic visual effects in the background, looks up to the mark. And yeah, these results are going to help a lot when we will edit all of these in the end, okay? All right, so once all of these results are generated and you can simply go ahead and download all of them from this download button right over here. So our next step would be really, really important as build, which I highly recommend you guys to do. So we're going to go ahead and upscale all of these clips, right? So for that, we're going to jump to uh, the free upscaler, which is CapCut Online. So I'm going to write CapCut Video Upscaler. Okay, then we're going to go to uh, the first link right over here. All right, so after that, it's asking me to upload my video right over here. So I'm going to go ahead and upload any video uh, from my video gallery that I basically downloaded. So I'm going to upload this one. All right, so once it's uploaded, simply click on the upscale button right over here, okay? So yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, this is how you can go ahead and easily upscale all of the clips. And you guys can totally see the difference, like how beautifully it has enhanced our video, enhanced the background, and you know, the quality looks really, really good. Uh, you know, the frame rates, uh, yeah, it is looking a bit better as well. So yeah, uh, this upscaling is going to help a lot. Uh, in your AI videos to you guys, okay? All right, so our next step would be very simple yet very interesting as well. We have to basically edit all the clips with some background music and some sound effects as well. So first of all, we're going to select some background music. So for that, I'm going to highly recommend you guys to go on YouTube and search for, uh, you know, any royalty-free uh, non-copyright music. So for that, I basically found this, the best one. Uh, which is basically an emotional, sad war music. So I'm going to go ahead and simply download the audio file from here. And for some amazing, engaging sound effects, I'm going to go ahead and go to my favorite sound effect website, which is Pixabay. And we're going to go ahead and download some, you know, a uh, firing sound effect, uh, some explosion ones. So yeah, let's just go ahead and do that as well. All right, so after everything is done, we're going to import all our clips into our favorite editor. So for this case, I'll be using Filmora. We're going to upload... Uh, our sound effects and background as well do a little bit of editing and then our timeline will look somehow like this so after that you just need to simply go ahead and export the file so once it's done this is how uh, our end output is gonna look like
So yeah, as you guys saw, that looked absolutely fantastic with very cinematic uh, AI film scenes. And no doubt, uh, this is the future of AI films now. Uh, so yeah, I hope you liked this video, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.